We're bringing it, baby. All right, guys. Rise and shine on this Monday morning. Uh, All right. Thank you guys for tuning in again. What was that? <laughs> you don't know that? Rise and shine? Are you not on Twitter at all? I don't, I don't, you guys are obsessed with Twitter. I don't, I don't it's get it. It's not even on Twitter. It's on Instagram. It's, it's just everywhere. It's Kylie Jenner. Rise and shine. Don't yeah. know what that is. They were filming Kylie Jenner's office, like her whole okay. beauty lip kit office. And there was a room where like Stormy, I guess, sleeps in sometimes. And Stormy's so, her kid, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. So they were filming and it was really funny because you could see a cut from her outside the door to inside the room and the, <laughs> right. the lights were still off. Oh, so, so you could. There was just like camera crew was like, shh. So you could tell like they went in to get the shot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it was like three, two, one. She turns on the light and goes, rise and shine. <laughs> and oh, what the lie. fuck? And Stormy's just like. <laughs> is, that, is, that, <laughs> is that why everybody's talking about like her singing career or something? Or like that she has a song out? Yeah. yeah. They just remix that like tiny little sound. It's, it's just that one little section. Yeah. And, you, and you know what? It's not even that funny. Either. I think it's just because Kylie Jenner did it, so it's like right. just roasting her for it. <laughs> She's even but, made merch too. Oh, yeah, oh like, my yeah, god! Yeah. Talk about people just doing something and running with it. <laughs> I mean, you know, her mom like told her exactly yeah. what to do right after that. She's like, "Honey, you need to make some merch. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Push that joke out." Hey, it's making them. Uh, they're doing their thing. You know, you gotta respect the hustle. I uh, know. If we, I mean, if we did something and it blew up on the internet, we would make merch immediately. I think we have. Baby, uh, you gotta roll with the trends. You know exactly, what I'm saying? Exactly. Fuck it. Rise shine. Good morning. Welcome back to Zane and Heath uh, Unfiltered. Let's roll the intro real quick. <laughs> you said that Wait, did I roll the intro? No, no, no. We're supposed to say that after. Oh, right, right. Okay. All right. Let's roll the intro. Roll the intro. Uh, oh, okay. There you go. Oh, I really, I, you should have put the mic under that. Oh, I know, I should have, I should have let y'all hear that one. Ooh, Damn. he nasty this morning. Oh my God, and it smells too. Oh, that's one of those this protein not- farts? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, I have, and I haven't eaten anything yet, so I don't know where that came from. All right, good morning. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. <laughs> we got some rancid air up in here this morning. Mm-hmm. My name is Zane. And I am Heath. And welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, as always, really, really appreciate you guys coming back, listening to our podcast, giving us your feedback, writing reviews on the podcast app. You know, that really helps us kind of like, gauge what you want to hear. Hard. And, uh, you know, babe, it ranks us in the charts better. Yeah. It's cool seeing you guys yeah. on the YouTube video being like, oh, I had to come here to see what happened at this part because it yeah. was so funny while listening. Let's get started on the week. What, uh, well, I mean, I, let me, I could tell you about my morning. Okay. <laughs> I had a rough oh, morning man. this uh, this morning. What happened? Let him tell I, this story. I, I, like, just give great. me some time because this is probably like the m- most embarrassing thing that's happened to me recently. Recently, okay. <laughs> <laughs> something embarrassing happens to me all the time, but like this one is pretty embarrassing. But I'm, um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty. Like I'm not like that. <laughs> you, you seem all right. You're like, <laughs> first, yeah, you're, you're walking in pretty good. Everything seems all right. So, uh, so last night, I. I, I didn't I don't I don't feel like I drank a lot but I <laughs> no no it, it's, it's Zane every single fucking time I, because I, I recently just had my wisdom teeth surgery so I've been on like pretty heavy medication for the past like you know yeah, no, hydro hydrocroxylrodones yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just all this crazy shit and um and I stopped taking it for the past like three days before okay today I felt like after not drinking for a week and I was on medication like that, my body was kind of like changed on me. So when I did drink last night, even drinking a little bit really just intensified yeah. my drunk. One thing led to another. Excuses. Excuses. <laughs> One thing led to another. I woke up in this random person's house, woken up by a random person waking me up. Like I just have never seen this person in my life, never seen this house. It was really scary. I, I actually started crying a little bit because I was just so embarrassed with myself. Like how You're crying? did it? Yeah, a little bit. I was like, I think it was just, just so disappointed pissed. in yourself. Disappointed oh. in myself. And your friend. Why the fuck? Who friends? were you with? Yeah. I was not with any of our, um, our friends, like our close friends. I was well, with. That's why. That, cut the story. I don't give a fuck, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're embarrassed. Yeah, no, I guess the moral of the story is I mean, obviously, not don't drink ever, but. I think just like when your friends are going home and there's it's a night of drinking, you should probably just go home with them. You shouldn't like yeah. hang out with other people. I mean, the people are with are probably friends, but like obviously it didn't matter that much that I was just sleeping at this random person's house, which is like, I'm not saying it's their fault. It's 100% my fault. I'm taking full uh-huh. responsibility, but you should stick with your close friends. Right, right, right. You, you are <laughs> yeah. The one night I don't go out with you guys, 
and Zayn ends up sleeping at somebody's house getting uh, yeah. destroyed. Life is crazy. You know, baby? <laughs> baby, that's why I need my bestie with me so he could take care of me and stuff when I'm like drinking a lot. I mean, a little because I only had like three shots, but. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? The kid decided to take me home. He was he was really nice about it, by the way. Mm-hmm. He was really cool. His name was Topher. Uh, shout out to Topher. <laughs> shout out to Topher. Thank you, Topher. <laughs> Good um, boy, Topher. So we are on our way to my house and I thought the most interesting thing about our whole conversation was that my his dad and my dad are from the same city. They, they were born in the same city, Where? Beirut, Lebanon. Whoa. Weird. Beirut, Lebanon. What? Like that's, no, like that's not, cousins. yeah, that's not common. Yeah. And he doesn't really look Arab, so it's like fucking crazy. He's your long lost brother. Probably, I don't know. He didn't look anything that's like me, but weird. it is crazy. His dad's from Beirut, Lebanon. Like, yeah. I don't know anybody that's from there. So yeah, he as he dropped me off, David comes out with his camera. He's like, oh, just fucking, he's filming me already because I call, I, I think I called him because I was so confused where I was. Uh-huh. I was like, dude, what the fuck? He's like, he started recording immediately, like almost like he knew. And then as I was getting out of the car, the uh, Topher goes, hey, uh, you might want to change too. Huh? Yeah. And I'm like, excuse me? He's oh, like, just, you just want to change. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I immediately got scared. Like, I have no idea what this is talking about. <laughs> a million things was running yeah, through Yeah, that's, my a, brain that's a really there. weird thing to say, especially like not to say it like the whole time, but like right as soon as you're like saying goodbye. Yeah. Hey, by the way, you might want to change. Imagine you like, <laughs> like gave that's me a weird. too, and I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck happened? He's like, we think you pissed your pants no while you were sleeping last night. way. And I started laughing uncontrollably because I could not believe it that happened. When was the last so you time actually, like, you pissed in your sleep? You actually pissed your pants? Yeah. Oh, I have a, I have a picture right here. I'll show it right here. But it's it's so embarrassing. Have you guys seen it yet? Let me see it. Okay. Me see. I'm gonna, <laughs> no, I obviously I have haven't not. showed it to you. Oh, you mean the one that's all over Twitter right now? <laughs> 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 Who's snapping pictures of you pee-peeing yourself? <laughs> oh... I want to see it. Oh, God. Oh, oh my it. God. Zane, no. Wait. This is like sad. Like, Airdrop I- it. Airdrop it to me. Oh, He didn't tell you you God. had peed your pants until he dropped you off? Yeah. Oh, is it that bad? Zane. <laughs> Just oh hold on. Oh, my God. God. You airdropped it over here. The the piss, but then also the whatever bottle of vodka that is behind <laughs> you. Like you, That looks like you were like drinking it like as you were going to bed on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. For the people listening, this is Zane in a deep slumber on a couch. Yeah, you got to watch the video if you want to see the picture. Legs on the futon section of the couch, um, crotch in the middle, and there is a perfect Like he pissed down into the couch. Oh, absolutely pissed down. You look so comfortable, though. Oh, I was very, oh, very, very comfortable. Very, very very comfortable. Um, I definitely pissed in the crease, so I feel really bad. I, you know what? I should probably hit up Topher and see if they need a new couch. couch. I would have throw the thing away. Yeah, I'm going to actually. I'm gonna call him after. I have his number, so we're yeah, gonna, I think we're should. gonna be friends. After Look that. at that! <laughs> you make, make a friend. friends, make friends, and buying people's new couch, buying people he, couches. He, All right, Topher, come on out. <laughs> come out, out, Topher. Bring him out. He had texted me uh, before. He was like, "Hey, are you mad at you, Zane's roommate?" And I was like, "Yeah. Uh, do you know where Zane is?" He goes, "Yeah, he crashed over at uh, my place, and um, it looks like he's like peed himself." <laughs> he goes, "I can't tell if it maybe Why didn't like you tell ran me that? he if he ran through the sprinklers, but uh, oh, he was trying to be nice. Aww. There's a big that is a that a is big no ass puddle. There's felt, no way. I felt a little wet as I was going home, but I thought it was just sweat, you know, because I sweat a lot. So I just thought it was just sweat. Like, oh, no, nah, baby, voice, but, you know, it was you soiled your drawers. But yeah, so that was that was my night. <laughs> very, <laughs> very very embarrassing. Um, but I actually I was I was like talking to everybody about it. We're all laughing about it, and I was like. Guys, I think I need to post this picture. They're like, half the people were like, oh my God, that'd be really fun. The other half, like David was like, Zane, no, what are you doing? No, why would you do that? I was like, because I need to make sure I post this first before yeah. anybody else does. Because if anybody else posts this before, before me, then that's it. I can't really... I can't like... You have to, you have to like make fun of yourself. Exactly. You can't... Yeah, I feel like that looks like you're hiding it and you don't want to talk about it. And exactly. So, like, imagine people, <laughs> people seeing that, they're like, wait, isn't that Zane? Oh my God. Like that, That's a bad look. But if you're like, yeah, bitch, I peed my pants last night. Yeah. <laughs> and we go hard. Yeah. We, you know, bitch, I, yeah, we make go it, hard. We go, baby, we lay over here. Make it cool. <laughs> if peeing your pants is cool, then Zane smiles Davis. The, the, only thing, the only thing I hate about that, the, that moment, that situation is that like, I don't know who was at this house. Anybody could have been at this house. So, like, that's the only thing that, like... But then again, if people were, like, questioning that, like, if I ran through sprinklers or something, then they probably didn't see that I pissed myself until the morning of, because it was probably so dark in there. How did you get that picture? (laughs) Who sent you that picture? Um, Oh, my God. Who sent me that... Oh, no, that'd be so... 
I think Topher sent me that picture, but the fact that he like went and squatted and <laughs> See, I would never, some shit I would do. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, sleeping in the Wait. piss. Yeah, why why would you take a picture of that? I would never take a picture of somebody like who peed. Oh he and then send no, it to them at least. But, like, no, look, look, he it's his house. Some kid that he doesn't have just pissed on his fucking couch. I think he deserves. He has every right to take a picture of it. I don't blame him at all. But like, oh my god, who else has this picture? You we know, to, you know, it, he sent it to his like roommate group chat, and like yep. they all just like it is on the Snapchat cloud for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we need to get you some uh, pull ups before we go out next time. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> just uh, what are they called? Depends. Yeah, <laughs> depends. Like adult pull ups. We get yeah. fucked up. We get going out tonight. tonight. Depends. <laughs> depends. <laughs> are we blacking are we out? <laughs> depends. Oh, yeah. Our next sponsor is going to be like adult pull ups. Oh, oh that's a great God. ad. Oh, great insane. Ad. Like I feel bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad. I mean, <clears throat> I went home. I showered. I felt like a new man. This reminds me um, of the story when you like blacked out and threw up all over your bed and got pissed off thinking somebody puked in your bed when you woke oh up. Oh my God, guys. This was Thanksgiving like five, four years ago. And I woke up in a puddle of puke, like in my own. My face was in my puke. No. It was disgusting. Oh. Yeah. I woke up and I got so angry because I was like, who the <laughs> fuck puked in my bed? I got, I was like, who the fuck puked in my bed? I go to the mirror and it's all over. Oh no! And I'm like, oh, it was. I puked. It and was a. Uh, it was a wine puke. So we had a big thing of bagged we wine. All drank, oh, God, we all drank. So, so it was much just <laughs> red everywhere. And dude, what's funny about that day? Since we're talking about people pissing their pants, our buddy actually pissed his pants that mm -hmm. night because he fell asleep in our bathroom and like the tub. It's like a movie, and there was like piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can give me good. Oh Yo, people really be out here peeing they pants. Dude, Denny House was a, <laughs> was a fucking lit. Maybe Yo, you were just throwing it back. You wanted to relive that. We all no, we all were we, we all were crazy back in that house. So we all did crazy bad. shit. Well, sorry to hear about your night. Uh, it sounds pretty horrifying and oh, it was. traumatizing. It was um, pretty traumatizing. But uh, how was your? I, I know you had a rough week. <laughs> I had probably the hardest week I've ever had. Yeah, we don't we don't want to one up you. Yeah, but. But, yeah. Did you piss your pants? <laughs> You're like, nope. But my house almost burned down. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Basically, I had one of the most stressful weeks work-wise. It felt like I had six essay like reports due yeah. the same weekend. And I'm in the living room with Mariah. We're falling asleep. It's 1.30. All of a sudden, just banging on my front door. We kind of like are startled waking up. And I'm like, who the fuck's at my front door? So I look out and he's like, it's your neighbor. We got to go. The fire. And I'm like, what the fuck the, are you talking the about? Fire. He's like, the fire's here. Everybody has to evacuate. So I'm like, holy shit, what's going on? Earlier that night, we drove to my house and yeah. there was a fire in Silmar, which is a couple towns over. So like, uh -huh. I knew there was a fire, but it's not in my area. You just didn't think it would move. Right. It spread so fast and it got to Porter Ranch. And I was like, holy shit. So we go outside and I look at my street and the whole sky is just bright orange. <gasps> like, I'll, I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see it. Um, nobody, and nobody can prepare for something like that, too. No. You never go to sleep ever. Like, every, yeah. And just say, oh, what if there's a, a fire happening? Well, what's crazy night? is on the way home that night when we saw the fire, I was like, what would we do if, you know, the fire was in our neighborhood? Like, how would we go about, like, what would be our plan? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we were like, uh, I don't know. Let's think about it. We actually came up with, like, an evacuation plan as a, a what if precautionary thing and uh, ended up having to do it. So wow. we. Went outside, saw it, came back in. We're like, holy shit, what do we do? We saw the fire. We came back inside and we're like, all right, let's do this. So we started packing up all the electronics, everything that was valuable, uh -huh. grabbing pictures uh, that, you know, stuff that can't be replaced and yeah, yeah. sentimental stuff. Yeah. What about the sign behind you, Heath? You didn't, you didn't mean it. You oh, you know what? Sign, huh? <laughs> you got everything important except for Zane and Heath unfiltered sign. It could be Place? That can't be replaced. Those letters are custom made perfectly for this. Look. But you know what? I did grab the picture of you off my nightstand. You have a printed okay. picture of Zane <laughs> on your nightstand. No. <laughs> but the fact that Zane thought I would. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, okay. he's like, okay, you're damn right. Okay. Um, so we just literally packed up the truck, grabbed everything, the desktop, everything we could we fit needed, into the truck. We needed the desktop because I was editing the podcast. Right. And... We couldn't transfer the file because I already started it onto a laptop. So we had to bring the big ass desktop in the car. So I had it on the floor <laughs> oh in front of God. me. 
plugged in. He has an outlet in his truck. Plugged into the to the truck. I had the mouse, the the keyboard, and I'm looking down and I'm <laughs> crazy. And the whole town is up in flames. <laughs> oh Dude, oh my God. it was so stressful. And we had a wedding to get to the next day. So I'm like, holy shit, and I'm one of the groomsmen. So I was like, shit, we got to grab the suit. So we packed the suit, loaded the <laughs> truck up, everything, got out. I called David. I'm like, hey, can we come over? He's like, wait, you got to get the Lambo. So as soon as we get to David's, he's like, let's go. We got to go back. And I'm like, holy shit, like the fire is getting worse. Yeah. He's like, we can't leave that there. And I'm like, yeah. all right, shit, I guess you're kind of right. Yeah, I know. Um, <clears throat> so he takes us back. We grab the Lambo, and we head out. And as we're heading out, we see the fire coming down the mountain. I have some videos we can play, um, but it's getting lower and lower. Lower. and I'm like holy shit take the Lambo back to his house drop it off and we had to come back to get Big Red and her car but what's crazy is like every time we come back it's getting worse and worse and the third time the fire is down the mountain completely and it's into the street coming into my neighborhood and catching houses on fire in here what's scary is that the winds are so strong it's just throwing the flames and ember everywhere and just catching stuff on fire I think they're called like flare up so yeah. it like jumps and it's that's, that's how it spreads so quickly I even saw on Twitter that one of those that one of the debris from that fire in Porter Ranch made it all the way to Universal Studios yeah yes. dude that's, that's like 30 nuts. miles away crazy Still on fire it felt like the end of the world yeah I've never been in a situation where it was like it seemed like apocalypse obviously it's not an apocalypse but just being in a fight or flight situation like that was so terrifying because you don't know what's going to happen everybody is in uh, a frantic chaotic panic the gas station everybody's running around trying to get gas supplies and they're all screaming a fucking car exploded and blew up in the gas station like parking lot area what? it's like a zombie apocalypse dude, how, dude mentally how much were you like accepting that like the house is gonna burn like we were were ready. You, like, i, I were already ready. Yeah. i yeah. i literally you accepted it was yeah. gonna go i told mariah i was like it was it was less than a mile uh, it was less than a half a mile away from me so I told Mariah, like, I was like, it's it's going down, like, 100% because of how fast it was spreading. Mm -hmm. I don't know how the, the fire department got it to stop, but you guys are absolutely incredible and, like, actual heroes. The Thank fire you. I mean, we wouldn't, the, yeah. we wouldn't, we wouldn't have our podcast set up right now if the fires got here. So. We'd have a lot to talk about, this but is, nothing to is, record this it with. the house, by the way. This is Heath's house that almost burnt down in that fire. But, yeah, no, I fully accepted it. and Yeah, because the neighbor was saying as soon as we left, because he stayed a little bit longer... He knew it was time to go because he looked next door and the flames were behind the houses, like up and over the houses. And he yeah. said like big things of embers were flying into our street. So if that hit one of the trees, that's it. You're done. So we stayed at David's, spent the night, didn't go to bed until like six in the morning. Come back the next morning to try to check on our stuff to see if the house is burned down and everything is blocked off. The fire department, police, uh -huh. everything is closing the street. You, we couldn't get into this town of Porter Ranch. Everything is blocked off in here. So there was an entire line of cars lined up and police were escorting them one by one to go up into the hill to check on their house and they could only go get stuff for five minutes and then have to leave. Right. Oh my God. Crazy. Because every they were still putting out fires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I bet people would like try to like loot the houses like and yeah. stuff. That's yeah. like when it's Wait. like prime time. Like everyone's evacuated. Let's go. Matt yeah. would be the one to think about when the best time to rob it. <laughs> no, it was just because there were cops there, and why would that be? And it's because they're trying to protect everyone's houses. Yeah, like, yeah. But. It was like a ghost. Town. So thank God we packed everything up. Everything here in the neighborhood was like super smoky. You couldn't breathe. Like everything was just quiet, Ooh, it was and still. it was just really it was weird. So eerie. We left. We went to head down to the wedding. It was like a two-hour drive. Mariah's in the backseat, editing, doing her thing. Just stressed. Yeah. So we left the wedding early to come back to my house to get the podcast up. It's just so stressful. This desktop was the most stressful part. Yeah. That we, <laughs> a big you can't even, desktop. Yeah, like, the biggest yes. one. We, had, we brought it to the hotel, too. Hooked it up to the hotel. Like It was a pain in the ass. Yeah. It, but just the fact that like if it was a laptop, we could just sit there and boo -doo -doo -doo. But the fact is we had it plugged into my truck. <laughs> and, like, and, and the fucking project file, I'm sure, was on like computer. And you can't like yes. you, can't, you can't take your yeah. project file and move it somewhere else, which is so stupid. Yeah. It's because so like you'd think that like they would fix that like yeah. problem. The there probably you, is a way. People were like, you guys are so stupid. <laughs> but like... <laughs> Copy and paste it. <laughs> but I'm sure like that would have taken a, a really long time to try to get it transferred, whatever, if there even is a way. Yeah. Um, we drive all the way back home, the two hours, 
get back to the house. We're like, okay, cool. Let's just get this uploaded. Everything's going to be good. It's about 1 a.m., right? Yeah. We got back we, at 1 a.m. We walk in. She plugs the computer in, sits down. She goes to literally make the first cut. <laughs> boom. Power no. cut out. No. <laughs> Like, literally you could not make this shit write up. The shit. You can't write the shit. So we're like, holy fuck. We have a flight the next morning we have to leave for at 6 a.m. We have to repack because we didn't have anything because we were gone the whole weekend. Oh my God. So we're like, fuck. We're packing in the dark, trying to get everything <laughs> ready to go to Colorado and unplugging the desktop again. We go to Mariah's in Pasadena, which is a fucking 45. 40 minute drive. <laughs> She's back in the back seat, editing again, <laughs> get to her apartment, set everything up, finish everything. We don't get done until like five o'clock in the morning, push everything through, get it ready, push the desktop aside and go straight to the airport. Just nonstop. We pulled like three all nighters this weekend. <laughs> See, that's why I love you guys so much as a couple. And you guys like come out like smiling and everything. Like <laughs> you guys like have gone through so much. And, like, a couple of the FaceTime calls I've had with them. They're pretty miserable. <laughs> yeah. Bad. It's crazy. You would think that because these fires ha are happening so often and the way they start is so easy like someone could flick a fucking cigarette yeah and madness just yeah. the entire neighborhood's on fire it's just because of how dry everything is it's so and how easy stupid everybody is yeah right it, and it's it like out. and you never you really never know what caused the fire either so it, like i just feel like it gives the wrong people these ideas mm -hmm. that like oh i could oh fucking yeah and people's like neighborhoods i could just like burn houses down if i just Especially like where you live, like in Studio City. Imagine if in Studio City, the uh, there's one street to get out. That's it. It's Dude. Like fucking, it's so cluttered. And they're so tight. Oh my, that Imagine would be a shit a show. In Studio City, like no. right no. where like Hollywood Hills and all. How the fuck do you get out of there? Of course. Could you imagine all like oh, celebrities God. in the hills just get out of my way? <laughs> like just on a bird, just like zipping <laughs> out. Just like zzz. it would be pretty insane seeing all these celebrities just like madness. Just all they're driving. all calling helicopters. Just oh, kidding. Oh, air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's just <laughs> ladders dropping from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> James man. bonding it out. <laughs> That's really funny. You've heard those conspiracy theories though of like the, like the government or something they're shooting lasers towards these yeah like, like so celebrities stupid. like neighborhoods i don't know the videos are crazy though like when you yeah. watch you're just like mm. interesting Weird. it's possible i mean i don't doubt anything i feel like the government's fucked up <laughs> like, they, they, they would do some fucked up shit yeah i know i know our podcast gets taken off the podcast side because the government runs it too. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so before we continue with the story, this is a reshoot. <laughs> yeah. got fucked up yesterday. <laughs> um, something happened where the audio recorder lost power and it didn't save the file. Uh, so we lost that. So we had to reshoot it. That's why we're in a different outfit. Or We're, we're going to be in different outfits in about three seconds. When yeah. yeah. So y'all been story. lying to everybody for the past 30 minutes. Yeah. Mariah and Matt, they did their, they did their job. We did. It. We <laughs> Dressed up how we were. Our That's just the type of people. They're just we are, disgusting though. and didn't change. <laughs> no, 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 no. We purposely redid it. And Matt's even more disgusting because he keeps salivating on the side of his mouth. He leaking. <laughs> I'm applying Aquaphor. I had a dental implant, and so my mouth mm -hmm. is like kind of healing. So that's why I'm talking funny. <laughs> and uh, so I've just been like trying to put the cream back. It on. is crazy. It's like really green because it's bruised. Oh, is it green it's now? Green. It was yellow yeah. last night. Oh my, this is yeah. Different it's color. So I nasty. wonder. I wonder if you see like. The side of my cheek changed. You're colors actually over your 20. your mic's covering it, so you're I know good. that's what I've been trying to do this whole. <laughs> time. Yeah, I can see I Matt mean, looking. I'm like looking at him, like, why does he keep looking at me? Because I'm because like I'm covering up my face. Because I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's just so. Well, there's gonna be like, people, <laughs> like leaning. That people are be commenting like the first like a bit of this, being like, "What's wrong with Matt? Why is he talking?" About? <laughs> but no, but yeah, so, that's, that's why, that's why Matt's yeah. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> all right. Well, we, let's. We did a snap transition, but <gasps> oh, well, we could do that. All right, snap transition in three, two, one. Okay, we're good. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. We stayed at the Stanley Hotel, super famous hotel. Yeah. You would think. Do you know they what the have... Stanley Hotel is? It was where Stephen King, King wrote, wrote the, came up with the Shining. Shining. Yeah. Wrote yeah. The Wait, hotel no. room Hold on a second. No. Okay. Stephen King, I don't think came up with the Shining at yes. the Stanley Hotel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. He shot Steve... the Shining at the Stanley. No. 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 It was no. shot in London. He wrote it. It was shot in London, and the exterior was shot in Oregon. Right. The Stanley Hotel, he stayed in room 217. He woke up from a nightmare. He went outside to have a cigarette. By the time he was done with his cigarette, he he had the whole outline for The Shining. Tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it. Okay, Mr. Book, Mr. 
the book him. getting schooled over here. Yes. Mr. Mr. Yeah, King yeah, himself. You rock his world, bitch. <laughs> fucking rock him, motherfucker. Oh, so the hotel is not the interior they shot at the no. movie? No. Oh, it was well, inspired. then now I'm not that, like, jealous about going. <laughs> Dumbass. Dumbass. It's oh, the actual I, that's, haunted that's, that's room a, that's that he stayed in. Matt it's King just one of the most shit. haunted hotels in the world. Yeah. So it's very iconic, but it just so happened Stephen King stayed there and whatever. Well, we stayed I'm in jealous his room. y'all went because they asked cool. me to go. It was and really I was like, fun. No. They, uh, yeah, it, me and Matt, uh, we both got emails to go like to do the whole thing, but I don't know. It was beautiful. It? You it was, it was right? really cool. Matt, you would have loved it. You would have absolutely oh, loved it. It was, it was really cool. Just like, it was an experience. Yeah. Did you guys have any encounters with We uh, didn't. We didn't have any paranormal stuff. There was, there was some weird sounds and it was definitely creepy. Like it, it made you feel really uncomfortable being there. Mm-hmm. Like you just had an uneasy feeling yeah. walking around. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't like, See a ghost. See a ghost. Uh, <laughs> the ghost she's like, ooh, ooh, boo. Ghost. Yeah, boo. <laughs> she's saying the corner, boo. The ghosts were like, ooh, go see Dr. Sleep. <laughs> 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 you just um, see the ghost is just like. <laughs> I was waiting on you in the closet. In the closet. <laughs> it was a great trip. It was really fun. Uh, so <laughs> we're like, okay, it's time to go to the airport. Let's get home. I pull out my phone. I go to call an Uber. <laughs> and it's like there's no Ubers available in this city. I was like, okay. So I tried every single type of Uber. Uber, the the big one, the SUV, the <laughs> Uber <Lux>. chopper, <laughs> Uber chopper. <laughs> we ain't got that much money now. <laughs> um. So then I asked the the one of the guys working there. He's like, oh, try Lyft. I was like, okay, tried Lyft, still nothing. We go to the front desk. I'm like, how do I get out of this city and get to the airport? And they're like, oh, here's a taxi service. But it was a weird one. She goes, so the one on the front is the one we usually take. The one on the back, it, there's no fare. You just pay them what you think they deserve. I was what? like, okay. I was like, what? A bitch going to get 10 bucks. No, <laughs> <laughs> dollars. It's one dollars. of those ones they just tell you about Jesus the whole way. <laughs> like, go, Have you heard the good news? I'll give you a ride for free if I can tell you about our Lord and Savior. <laughs> <laughs> I say, bitch, buckle up. Let's go. <laughs> we used to take those in college because they were like free we were just like guys just be quiet we have to listen to like someone tell you about god just so you on your way out to a bar to get fucked up i know i know it was terrible but it was a free ride so that wasn't available they didn't pick up i called the other taxi on the card and they were like oh we can't be to that location for at least two hours i was like well i got a flight to catch like i don't know what to do so i'm like okay there's clearly no other options. Like I called all the taxi services, nothing. Uh-huh. So I was like, let me, oh, let me see if there's a limo. I was like, <laughs> fuck it. I'll get a limo if I have to. <laughs> the limo couldn't be there for a couple hours. And I was like, oh, shit. What do I do? I was like, I'm about to get a, a U-Haul. <laughs> <laughs> right? Act like I'm about to go move something and just fucking dump it at the airport. <laughs> just dump it. Like, Run. Just like, get one of those <laughs> big box trucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, fuck it. Dude, just fucking, that's funny. Just dump it and just fucking. And, and they're like, it. uh, yeah, your <laughs> truck is due back. <laughs> oh, somebody stole it. <laughs> and we ended up finding the shuttle service. And they're like, I could beat you in 30 minutes. I was like, thank God. And that was their last ride of the day. Uh-huh. Were, there, were there other oh influencers like staying there? Like, no, it was, it was like, we had a different thing job. than you it guys. Was, it, they, he got a brand deal and his pitch was he's going to go stay at the, the hotel room that he oh. wrote. The, so it was it had nothing to do with yeah. what we got in emails for. Oh. Yeah, so he got money. For yeah, me. he got like a separate thing. It was all like money and stuff <laughs> and branded, you know. Oh my god. He making gosh. money he making money moves. And you we know what? I get to do fun shit and get paid, baby. But we did it and we're back. My house didn't burn down, so thank, <laughs> thank God. God dude, imagine. Yeah, it, it could like imagine your On house top of it. burned down. <laughs> and now we had to move this set to somewhere else. Like, <laughs> we would we would have nothing to move. <laughs> 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 Zane was like If your house burned down Think about the podcast material I was like Yeah we could talk about it On the set we don't have <laughs> <laughs> Now this yeah. ugly couch Would be the only thing That survives Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. All this expensive shit It'd it's be this like couch like this That does survive True. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that we Did this weekend um, Insane So uh, David Blaine If you guys don't know He's oh. a magician Ooh. I don't I did not know Who David Blaine was I didn't oh, recognize His face insane. at all oh. It's hey hey it's whatever okay. You don't know I, who David Blaine you is. You know why? You know why? Because I don't like magic. I'm like very what? pessimistic when it comes to what's it? Pessimistic. You're pes- you're cynical. You're cynical. cynical I'm about, cynical when like, it comes to magic. I see shit. I'm just like okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. I mean, I, I'm the same way. Like I yeah. don't like magic, but David Blaine is somebody who's on a different level. Okay. 
Yeah, and I didn't I didn't know who he was, mm-hmm. obviously. So the first trick I saw from him was at David's house, which is pretty crazy. He yeah. came no, to saying. David's house? Oh, he was oh, at David's house. Know. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> he came to da- he was at David's oh, house my. two nights ago. Dude, in I've, the way I've, he uh, sees but I've, shit. I've met David Blaine. He's done two tricks on me. That's a whole separate story, but go okay, on yours. Okay. Go on yours. I'm okay. I'm okay with Stop it. Stop trying to take I don't, my shine. I yeah. know I'm not. I'm not, but I'm just pissed I wasn't there. He just goes the extra mile where he yeah. He hurts himself to make magic tricks like fully to, to execute magic tricks. He put a card that like Mariah was holding. He it was ended up in his mouth with his mouth shut. It was fucking nuts. It was just crazy. And then he like pulled the the thread out of his out stomach. Of his stomach. And, like, oh. you could, like see it like you could see it actually coming out of his skin. Like it was pulling his skin. Yeah, that's an old one of his. Yeah, yeah. he's done, yeah, he's done know, it before. Like, he's I done it before. You David know what's Blaine's crazy tricks. though? The you, ice pick. No. He did the ice pick through his hand. It was through his bicep. bicep. Through his arm. Oh, that's a new. Oh wait, no, he did do that one time with Ricky mm-hmm. Gervais. I yeah yeah yeah. Crazy. What are you saying, Mara? Of course, David would get David Blaine. Of course, yeah. because David Blaine does. He was explaining to us where he does this thing. He'll disappear for a couple years, then he'll have this like forty-five minute segment, and then he'll disappear again to work on his craft. Right. He refuses to go. He, you know, the Magic Castle. Yes, he, I yeah. He pulled up the list and it said David Blaine declined. declined. Yeah. He doesn't get involved. He, he doesn't fuck with other magicians. He doesn't like Chris really. Angel. I no. when yeah, I hung no. out with David Blaine, he I doesn't. asked him like, let's go. And, to Ma- no, he does his own thing. He doesn't go to people's houses and does magic too. He's like he That's only no. did it for David. So that was yeah. rare that he did it. That he was at yeah. David's house doing a magic trick. Usually so he does it same. for his own like. But tour, what's crazy? Him and David are very similar. Yeah, like they both have this mentality of I will shoot a hundred hours of stuff to get four seconds that's right, perfect right. and like it was cool watching them talk to each other yeah it was because crazy they're both they're both so fucking crazy that like just seeing them go back and forth and get excited about stuff was really yeah. interesting yeah. honestly we we're all pretty scared he was making a new best friend we're all like we're all fucked like <laughs> we, Blaine and i can't compete I with david, yeah. Yeah. david and david i think it's the best being friends with david blaine like yeah yeah make them get along as no, much no, as they I, can i think I they'd be great partners when it oh comes to like gosh, shooting yes. shit and, like, oh, making yeah. crazy shit happen like if they if they partnered up and made shit matt it would be magic oh my <laughs> yes. gosh when he did a magic trick on me i cried because i was yeah. just i was so like i just honored to like just have a moment where david blaine is looking at you in your face and getting a magic yeah, trick yeah. Done yeah by he him. picked no, me a lot so he like, a lot of he, yeah. he looked right like he I, would like sink like when he looked at you and was talking it, it would like sink into you you're like yeah. Wow. I, yeah in my wallet i used to carry around the card that he did a magic trick uh-huh. uh, on me and he signed it and he was like you know what's cool about today and i'm like what he's like it's houdini's birthday and he like signed it and i was like Whoa. his character is amazing so cool he's so funny yeah. like he's very mysterious but he's very present so when he's talking to you he's talking to you and yeah. like you can tell he's a hundred percent there like i thought it would be like because he's always like you know, he does yeah. like, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when he's talking to you, you can tell he's actually talking to you and yeah. he's he's giving you really good advice. Like yeah. the way he was just I don't it was very yeah, inspiring. He's very aware, he's very such like present. a person. He's I so thought normal. it was really interesting that he thought David's uh dart trick was like was amazing. No, no. He, he thought, thought no, he thought, he thought it was a ama- cut. He was like, There's no way that was real. Yeah. So he thought David threw the darts at Dom's hand. Cut the video with like a shake and then ran up and yeah. then showed them in between his. At one point, he thought that like David, like that's David's like. Yeah, uh, then he thought trick. it was like, like he thought David like, did it on purpose. It's yeah. like, no, it's all like luck. Like David just throws it. And even if it doesn't land the first time, he'll do it until he gets yeah. a shot like that. He thought that was so cool. And then he stuck an ice pick through his arm. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, you just stuck an ice pick through your fucking arm. You think that dart trick was crazy? Oh. But yeah, just like there was a lot of stuff he did, and we could talk about this all all night but like he's just incredible his yeah. magic tricks like they make you fucking not sleep at night like i couldn't sleep last night how did he get the card in mariah's hand to go from four pieces to one whole card that's another card magic. how the fuck did he do it's like mariah's magic. hands were shut tight like Zane, it doesn't make what's, sense what's really bizarre is like i'm the same way i i, I see magic and i'm like it's yeah, it's, it's magic bullshit. he actually made me be like Wow, I know this is mm-hmm. magic. Mm-hmm. Like this is not normal. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a trick. It's magic. I was a it's- magician's assistant, 
So I should have been able to pick things yeah. apart. You were? Yes. I didn't oh my know God, this. Right. I was ready to pick it apart. I couldn't figure out squat. She, she was one of the girls that got like cut in half. <laughs> got, really? Did like the box stuff. It's funny because like uh, two weeks before that, we saw like another magician. I want to get into too into it, but this magician fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> fucking I don't want to get into it. I don't want to like talk shit, but he was fucking terrible. <laughs> awful. And like, I'm not being mean, but like, it is crazy seeing people like David Blaine that actually do care, do, yeah. uh, does care about like what he does and tries to make it perfect and wants to be the best. Yeah. At, and then seeing people like that, where it's just like, what are you really doing? Like, are you just trying to, like, who the fuck are you trying to fool? Did he like, like keep messing up? And it's it's not even that. He just it he didn't even know what he was doing. Oh, it wasn't smooth. It just wasn't smooth at all. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I'm not saying too much because I don't want to put up. Yeah. person on blast but like it's just crazy that like he comparing like seeing right. david blaine two weeks later it's just like this is a fucking magician mm -hmm. this is what a magician is supposed to be yeah you gotta practice you know you gotta practice <laughs> like, you, know, you saw you saw david blaine stay underwater for seven days seven days underwater seven no days. i think he like just held his breath for a really long no, time he no was no that, he was underwater he for two no two weeks i think one week not holding one his week. breath not holding no, his breath he, had, no, no, he, he was he had in a, a glass the, the, bowl, the apparatus like, bowl. yeah was yes, underwater, had yes. a tube that went to the top, and he slept in there and did everything. He, he didn't eat. It's yeah. all mental. It's he mental. just sat yeah. there in a tube of water for Dude, a week. Because he studies with like monks, like out yeah, like in faraway crazy. lands, but, and like, like learns how to. Yeah, like when he put the ice pick through his arm, that's not magic. Anybody could technically do that. Yeah. But the fact that he did it and has done it so many times that he can sit there and not flinch and look you in the eyes, not tear up, not get watery, and just sit there and be like this. Look at this. Look yeah, this. and, that, and no, that's push, what I'm saying. Like, no, push more. There, yeah, there's probably a way where he put that card in his mouth. What what in his mouth was shown? For I sure. don't care. We didn't see it, and I think that's what it matters. Like, yeah. if, yeah. We, no, if you're able amazing. to fool us, if you're able to fool us that good, and you could sew your mouth it. up to like sell the whole thing. Oh yeah. Do you know how he did that trick? You know how he did it? I don't. I don't want to know. Actually, he did it very well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt still got it. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so, like sure magicians he, say, like, how'd you do that? They go, oh, he did it very well. He ripped the card already, right? To match it up. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I really don't care. I don't care. He's great. He he fucking fooled us, and we that's, got, I think that's the whole point of yeah. being a magician. We gotta go to the magic castle and, and not now. I, no, dude, no, really? not. I don't want to see magic again unless David Blaine is. Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see anybody but David Blaine. I know we're gonna see a lot more of him because he's he's actually trying to start his YouTube channel. He's taking his time, and he's like slow and steady too. wins the race. Yeah. We were talking about just like. You, YouTube is a career and money and he's like I don't give a fuck about money he's like I want to make a video that people will remember yeah. and like like he said you do it a million times and you get it right once and that's what you'll see I'm not going to post a 20 minute video blah 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 he's like I'm going to post 10 seconds and it's going to be what I want it is crazy seeing uh, celebrities like Will Smith like hop Doing on YouTube, YouTube and they're really yeah. taking advantage of them. they're making it a big deal yeah. and it kind of makes me feel good about the position I'm in I'm like oh Thank God I, I like started be, YouTube. Did you used uh, you to be know? embarrassed when we would be like, "Oh, yeah, we're YouTubers"? Of course, I to, I yeah. Just, I hated saying it. I was at uh, Zara today. I was at uh, at the Grove, yeah. And she asked what I did, and I couldn't. I I didn't. I said, "Oh, I just I do entertainment." Yeah. I, I yeah. didn't want to say oh, YouTube. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's it because it, it's it's like a weird stig. It's like a weird like stigma. Like mm -hmm. it just doesn't. It's very sour. When people you say are always YouTuber. like, "Well, yeah. oh, well, then what's your name? That when we look you up and like right. it's like you don't have that yeah. like just sense Keith, of like privacy like about it. it just, yeah. You change your title a lot. Like I don't know what to call. I it. know you're you're like social media advertising or like yeah. which is it's yeah, true, but yeah. like whatever's gonna sound better to people because when you say still it's sad when you say YouTuber they're like oh, oh exactly yeah. even so what like, else <laughs> well, when we're looking at when we're looking at houses to rent mm -hmm. you can't say you're a YouTuber that's the last thing they want to hear is saying seriously. you're a YouTuber <laughs> we say social media advertising we had this one lady she was like interrogating oh us oh my god and oh, so like, what do you advertise <laughs> in the, how do you in the realtor it? no and then the realtor goes oh well do you guys know David Dobrik and my hat just said David <laughs> right on top and I was like uh turn it around <laughs> Oh my god, that's great! And then great. he just started realizing, wait, you guys are in David's No, 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 this guy knew the whole time. I feel like I and think so too. We were just beating around the bush, and this guy—that's gotta oh. be so funny. Like knowing who we are and being like, "So what are you guys doing?" We're like, "Uh, oh, marketing." Imagine asking uh, the cast of Jersey Shore what they do, and they're like, uh, "Social media advertising." <laughs> 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 Their job is literally like drinking. MTV personality. <laughs> That's oh. good. MTV personality. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. About um, what? About Jennifer Aniston joining Instagram. 
What? And I know Jennifer Jennifer Aniston. Do you know Jennifer Aniston? Yeah. Yeah, she joined Instagram. Woo! So it's it's a <laughs> what do you mean she joined Instagram? She like, joined like Instagram. She made an Instagram account. She made account? an Instagram account. <laughs> she like broke the internet. Dude, she right now she has 14 million followers. She just made it three days ago. What? Her first picture was her with the friends cast. I love Jennifer Aniston so much because she reminds me so much of my mom. So I love seeing her. I just love her because I love her. I love her. Wait, what? 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 If, what, she, if, what about her? Reminds you? Of she. Your she kind of looks like my mom. She looks like my mom, and she kind of like. There's some some quirky stuff that she does that reminds me of my mom. Aren't you like in love? <laughs> in general, yeah. No. Dude, do you think she's the hottest? Hot no, no. I, I'm not saying she's hot, but like you hear this a lot. Like people that are like are, or that like a girl a lot. They remind. Uh, uh, the girl reminds them of their mom. Yeah, yeah. Be, the what's Oedipus that? complex. Yeah, or, yeah. I think that's what it's like. People not, are attracted to their mom. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm attracted to Jennifer Aniston. I just like her so much because she reminds me of my mom. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, I screenshotted it when it was ago. at 1.2 million because I was like, I'm at 1.2 million and she's at 1.2, so we're like the same. <laughs> and then it was like, <laughs> like only Matt would think about that. <laughs> well, like I just saw it like when I was like, oh, she made it. I was like, oh, 1.2, and I was like, this is not gonna last. So I just wanted to like just say I have this screenshot of when it was one. But I've been loving her content though, like her IG stories every. Thing. she's just yeah. like she's really like she's How just enjoying it oh, yeah. she's 50 she 50 can you look it up is she married now like who no, no idea and she's never had really any kids at- no i don't think so <sighs> why are oh, you fucking judging no, jennifer I'm just aniston like, were you I trying just to like, put a baby in her like <laughs> no it's just like the end of jennifer aniston is just gonna like end of jennifer aniston like i just can't believe she didn't like pass on the jennifer aniston-ness onto somebody else so we can like live on like Which- but i'm not saying that like you gotta have a baby, but just like someone is crazy for Anderson, I was like, oh, she she come didn't on. find anybody. She didn't find anybody she loves. I mean, that happens to a lot of she people. She hasn't met Zane. Is it, well, is no, it, she, but she, she had Brad Pitt, exactly. and then she was with like Justin Theroux. And is then it too it's late? just 50? 50 is like way yeah. too late. Yeah. Yeah. Time yeah I don't passed. think. It is crazy that like she's now too old to like. Aww. Maybe she's that's like, really what if she sad. does have a kid? You well, could. I mean, I mean, she could. She, she can, like, maybe yeah. her eggs are frozen somewhere and someone can, like, have a, a surrogate. Whoa. Oh. She Whoa. rich as fuck, man. Oh, my She probably God. did do something like that. You think so? That's, like, huh, what she's going to post on her Instagram. Like, I that's don't know. I just feel like. Do you she, think it's something she's upset about? Do you think that, I don't like, know. It could be her? a personal choice. Wait. We don't know. Yeah. What would you name your kid if you had a kid? Gonorrhea. Cephalia. Is that is that French? <laughs> oh, someone was wanting to talk about our first jobs, like what our first jobs were. Oh shit! You know what's funny? I actually thought about this the other day, and there's a really funny story I have about my first job that my parents don't even know. Ooh. Ooh. Really? What is yeah. that, Mister Mrs. Usan? Spooky. Well, let me let me start a little bit from the beginning. Uh, my mom actually got me the job. It was at PacSun. I worked there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my first real like paying job was PacSun, and my mom walked in and just happened to ask the manager, "Hey, are you hiring?" And they're like, "Yeah, but only for like special people." <laughs> <laughs> and my mom was like, "My son's kind of special." <laughs> <laughs> um, so then she came home and was like, "Hey, do you want to work at PacSun?" And I was like, "I guess, yeah." Um, she was like, "Okay, cool. I got you an interview." I was like, "All right." So I met with the manager, and he's awesome. Like, we're actually still friends, and I talk to him all the time. Um, but met him, got the job, and then I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot toot, I was like the best salesman, and I did a lot of shit for. Oh, I bet you were my team. Yeah, and I did the he, opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do anything when I worked at Fox on sitting at the folding board like this, <laughs> <laughs> just texting away. But I mean, my manager was awful though. She oh, yeah, she sucked. Had- she sucked but he was a stoner okay go on (laughs) and he would go to work high and obviously like i knew i wasn't stupid and but he just covered it really well he was just very smooth and he got work done like he was a functional stoner that could just (laughs) i i don't know it's insane yeah obviously i was a young kid and like i looked up to him i was like i i want to do that (laughs) and i never smoked weed like i was I, I was heard, a really heard, good kid. Cover your ears, Mrs. Hussar. Um, <laughs> so I had like tried it and I got like really paranoid and weird, but I still like, I wanted to be cool. I wanted to like go into work high with him. So I so showed up cool. to work high and like we, we were supposed to work that night and he, he walks up to me and he goes, uh, Hey, I'm taking off. We got so-and-so is going to take my shift. I'm going to head out. And it was another uh, like assistant manager that worked there. No. <laughs> and she was a bitch, dude. Hold <laughs> on. Hold on. What's her name? We don't need Fuck. to say her name. I don't Because I feel like I'll it's the same girl. Name. It's the same girl. I feel like it's the... Shh, I don't remember. I All wish right. I did. Did she have a, did, did she have a snuggle tooth? 
Um, <laughs> but she, snaggled. <laughs> she was awful. So he left, and like I instantly just. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "Are you okay?" Literally walked in. He said bye. I was like, "Hey, what's up? I'm working today." And she was like, "Are you okay?" I was like, "No, I feel a little funny." She's like, "Yeah, you don't look too good. You want to go get some food?" <laughs> And I was like, yeah. So I, as soon as I got in, I took my break and <laughs> went to the food court. Oh, she I knows ate, you're high too because yeah. she asked you to get food. I came back and I was just like super smiley. And oh, she was no. like, are you stoned? And I looked at her and I was just like. Oh, <gasps> oh no. You nodded. How dare you, you nodded. tell the truth? You fucking. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I panicked, dude. I was so fucking paranoid. It was my first job and I was high and like I couldn't. I oh couldn't my gosh. So, Little heat. <laughs> so she was like, are you fucking kidding me? <gasps> Whoa. Oh, was you... aggressive. Yeah. Aggressive. No, she was <laughs> so mad. She was like going to the back right now. So she called the guy, my boss that had just left and was like, heat this fucking high. And he was like, shit. So she's like, we got to do something about this. Something needs to be done oh, right fuck now. Off. He cannot come into work and be fucking high. Oh and I'm in the back God. and like I can hear her like saying this stuff. So then he calls me. He's like, Heath, please don't be mad at me. I got to do this. She needs to get laid. But she's threatening to call corporate right now. And it's going to be a huge issue. Like I have to fire you right now just to shut her up because <laughs> this is going to be a big deal. And I was like, are you kidding me? He's like, dude, I am so sorry, but oh my I have God, to let you go. Mom. Fuck. And she sent me home. So <laughs> I didn't get called. Like, I couldn't tell my mom. I couldn't. I literally could not tell her. <laughs> so for two weeks, we're going by. Like, two weeks went by. And she's like, why don't you have work? Like, what happened to your schedule? I was like, the sales are down. And <laughs> sales are down. They were, yeah, we're just, we just don't have enough on the payroll right now to book me. And, um, <laughs> They, I, I, I'm talking on my ass. Uh, your, mom, yeah, your mom's right. smart too. She and probably called. Yeah. <laughs> no, she was at know. the mall. She's like, well, I was just there last <laughs> week and it was busy Pop as hell. It. It like, was booming. It. Yeah, Pop it was like it. the Apple store in there. They had employees in every corner. <laughs> but yeah, for two weeks, obviously I had to play it off. Like they just weren't calling me in. I, whatever. So I went to go in and I walked into the store and I saw the lady that had me fired and she goes, Hi, welcome to Pack Sun. Is there anything I can help you find? Oh fuck! I off. looked at her. I was like, "Fuck you!" I was so you said that. Mad. You said I, that like, to I her. Literally, no, I didn't say it. Oh, uh, I was but like, I felt it. But I was thinking it. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I was just like, I was like, "No, nah, I'm good," and I was just so mad. Long story short, after three weeks, David calls me. He's like, "I had a talk with the the girl, and she was like, why did you fire Heath?'" And he's like, what are you talking about? You made me fire him. And she's like, no, I just said, like, we probably should do something about it. And then, like, that was it. I wasn't going to do anything. Girl. Oh, God. So he was like, no. no, you purposely made me fire him, knowing, like, he was our best salesman. <laughs> so he calls me, and he's like, hey, I want you back on the team. Like, you, you, you can work tomorrow. Like, I'm rehiring you. Like, I need you. And he's like, you have your job back. I had a talk with her. Everything is good. Like, act like nothing ever happened, and we're good to go. I came back, busted my ass, and I got promoted to a manager. And that bitch got fired. Oh! Thank you. Moral of the story. Why did she get fired? Smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> Why did she get fired? Because she sucked. No, she was high. Because she was high she on was the high. job. <laughs> <laughs> Zane, what was your first job? My first job was at a Mexican restaurant. Ooh, 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 and I dropped food like it was fucking hot tamales. Hot tamales. I'm like, I dropped everybody's food. He's like, coming through, coming through. I was <laughs> food runner. I was a food dropper. I fucking dropped that shit all over the place. <laughs> but one time it was the funniest where I think I, I fired myself. I think I fired myself. Or oh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. I fired myself. I, like, what is that? I was so embarrassed. Where I wanted, I want, I wanted to quit because I was so embarrassed because of this story I'm about to say. I'm walking out with two hot fucking fresh fajitas. Just the whole hot thing, soup, like hot, hot soup. soup. <laughs> I'm walking out. I put the the, the 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 tray on. You know those uh those tables? It's not a table. Yeah, yeah, the folders. The folders. The, the folders open, yeah. that you put trays on. So I pop the folder. I put the tray on, and my dumbass takes everything off one side first. <laughs> So just, <laughs> you know, half of the food just fucking topples and falls on the floor, and they're just like, 
I don't want I'm so sorry. That's a really bad. I'm so sorry. I run back and the, and I tell the chef because the chef was also like the owner too. It was like a private Ooh. restaurant. So he was just like, God, he was so fucking pissed. So he makes the food again. <laughs> he makes the food again no. and you know no. it's like na- it's 15 minutes <laughs> don't tell me where you your shit again 15 <laughs> minutes later I <laughs> so where, where he's no co- where he's no. cooking where he's cooking he ha- you know those like those saddle those uh the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the saloon doors, doors. Saloon the door. saloon doors so there's saloon <laughs> doors and there's like windows in it so you see past <laughs> I got brand new fresh two fajitas and I'm walking out and I walk through the saloon doors and <laughs> I slip on sour cream. <laughs> I slip on sour cream and I just go, I go, what? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the train goes like, Whoa. Oh, shit. and he sees the chef sees this happen. He just sees the train go. <laughs> <laughs> he turns the stoves off. He's just like, <laughs> Wait, was it your sour cream from earlier? No, oh, no, it was just sour cream. Really funny. It was. <laughs> Oh, you it was sour cream that, that was just left. No, no, it wasn't this that area. It was another. It was right outside of the kitchen. Oh, no. And I slip, I fall, I look down. I was like, and I think a tear came out of my eye. I look straight at the chef, the the manager, and I was like, I think I'm gonna go. I I, I quit. He stands up. He stands up. Takes his little pin off. <laughs> Puts it on the desk. Oh. I told him, I'm like, I'm just going to fire myself. Like, I'm out of here. Like, I can't. This That's is the worst so moment funny. in my entire life. Twice the same table <laughs> in the span of bu- So I made $5 an hour at this place, okay? Uh-huh. $5 an hour. That's that's not a lot of money at <laughs> yeah. all. And the tips were nothing. It was like $2 a night. So, like, I would walk away with, like, 18 bucks a night. It was really, right. really bad uh, pay. They closed down the restaurant because they weren't making enough money. And... <laughs> They never paid me. They owed me three hundred dollars, and they never paid me. Still oh, to this day. Shit. To this day. Shout them out. Take Shout them, them out. Court. They opened up another restaurant, <laughs> no, and I showed up to the restaurant like three months later. Like, yo, where's my three hundred dollars? He's like, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll pay you, we'll pay you, and they never paid me. And I think that's crazy. Look at you now. Oh, then look at me now, bitch. I'm on a podcast <laughs> with my best friend. We talk this <laughs> shit. Fuck. <laughs> you, but I'm really glad I worked at that restaurant though, because it was like what an experience slipping like- on sour cream. I mean, with everybody, all the jobs that we've had growing up has like made us who we are. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Like yeah. I am Absolutely. so happy I worked everywhere I work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stuff we- is going to suck out there and if you're in a job that sucks, it's it's preparing you for something in the future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just- Absolutely. Yeah, I learned everything from every job that mm-hmm. I had. I still like use things from every job that I've had. Yeah. yeah. My parents were so fucking strict to me and I hated it, but I'm so yeah. glad. Oh, yeah. If you guys have strict parents, appreciate let them be it. strict and appreciate it because later in life you're going to fucking yep. you're going to you're going to love that they were strict on you. It, it, it seems like, like stuff could be the end of the world at the moment. Yeah. But it's not and it's going to prepare you for something. And I feel like we around. all had pretty strict like like I feel My like our entire friend strict. group, we've all had like strict parents. Like we all had like mm-hmm. very kind of not shitty lives, but like we all we're just kind of tied down yeah. Yeah. throughout our childhood. And we all like, mm-hmm. we couldn't really so do what we do wanted. Anything. Like right. your terrified. parents, your parents were strict. My parents yeah. were super strict. What about you guys? Were your parents super strict? Yeah. 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 My, yeah. Like, parents were strict. my parents were weird strict. Yeah. Like I wasn't allowed Same. to wear nail polish until I was like 15. I wasn't allowed to chew gum. I wasn't al- like little Whoa. things like that. But, but then they were like, you could start learning how to drive as soon as you reach the pedal. And then we were behind a wheel. Like we, they had weird rules. <laughs> what? Was, That's some country. That's like, crazy yeah. shit. Like I didn't have a phone till I was sixteen. I didn't have. Those are weird. Like I was like sixteen. I think I was a junior when I got texting. Mm-hmm. Oh really? Was oh, it unlimited? I was, I was spoiled. <laughs> no, I don't think. <laughs> Absolutely it was. not. I, I had like. <laughs> A limited amount. There was like so many I could. Send. I got so excited when I got this slide phone. Oh, I had like, one. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I had the keyboard. Envy, the one that like just. Oh yeah, the uh, Envy, Envy. Matt. And then are... the Voyager, the Voyager, oh, the, the sidekick, the, the sidekick. I never got the sidekick. You well, kids. I had this <laughs> busted gray one with a screen literally <laughs> an inch by well, an inch. My first one was a singular phone. Yep. And dude, the way my dad surprised me was almost like he was filming a YouTube video <laughs> where he called it. It was my birthday. Oh my he God. called the phone and the phone was in like his jacket Wait, in the car. That's, that's like my favorite. 
Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? Me too. Yeah. Yeah. For my 16th birthday, my dad built a little mini, mini dance studio in the basement. So I came down and I saw the the dance studio. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And then the phone started ringing in like the wall. And I was like, what's going on? And they were like, go get your phone. (laughs) (laughs) That's why we fucking appreciate shit. And that's why I'm so glad that we were raised the way we were raised. Because we appreciate every little thing that we get now. But like these kids these days, uh, y'all motherfuckers, y'all getting phones when you're fucking four years. Though, what iPhones, the fuck iPads, iMacs. Uh, yeah. I know. Oh, they, it's fucking crazy. They probably don't get that stuff for like Christmas or birthdays anymore. It's just it's, whenever yeah. the new one comes out, like you can That's have it. I love like videos where kids get surprised that they're going to Disneyland. Yeah. yeah. And it's like that day, and the kids just start crying and they're so grateful. Like, yeah. I am like, yes, good parenting. Like, this is like a good kid. <laughs> you don't see that anymore, though. Like, what Absolutely do you get your, not. what do parents get their kids on for Christmas? Meet Nothing. Meet and greets to see us. <laughs> 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 Meet and Greets to see the fucking um the the Dobre brothers. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that video with yes. them sitting still? That's crazy. Oh, wait, tell them the people who don't know. Okay, for you, for you guys who don't know, Dober brothers are uh, twins. They have a YouTube YouTubers channel. Well, yeah. They also have like two other brothers. I think they all they were on tour and they had a meet and greet and kids were coming up and taking pictures at their meet and greet that they've spent you know hundreds of dollars to meet them and they're sitting there no fucking emotion in their face as kids are coming and taking pictures like they were cut out it's cardboard sitting on stools literally like crazy doesn't do anything and then the girl like he literally you could see her like pushing her away yeah and then is then the, then the beat drops and he's like this uh, <laughs> I, like it's I thought it was fake. I thought I they were too. faking it. I thought it was like a, supposed to be a funny video, but it wasn't. It was really. Yeah. And they're like, sorry, we're tired. I'm like, it doesn't no. fucking matter if you're no. tired or not. You better have the biggest smile. They're paying hundreds of dollars to see mm-hmm. you. Like, how dare you? Obviously, yes, you could be tired, but it's still exciting to meet fans that support you. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, these people love you and they look up to you. Yeah. Like, that's so amazing to actually have that encounter. Yeah. I mean, we all have bad days, you know? Everybody but has all a four bad of them day, but same like, day, same time. Same, same, <laughs> same, same, same time. Okay. Yeah, and you're just tired. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was that was insane. But like watching that, it kind of like gives me a little like a kick in the ass. Like, yeah. hey, smile a little bit more. Cause yeah. you know, I I, Zane I feel has, like Zane just has resting bitch face. I <laughs> have resting dick face. It sucks. I like every time, like like someone will come up at, at the mall and I'm like, hey, what's up? And Jeff will be like, sassy, huh? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, it was a little sassy of you. I was like, dude, I, I just, it, it sucks that like I just can't fuck. I have to smile all the time. If I'm not smiling, then I'm a dick. Then something's wrong. It sucks being in that like position where like you just have like a face where it just looks like you're miserable all the time. But hey, it's good that you're getting better though. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to smile. It was on the scars on my face. That's how my mouth feels. I'm sweating again. I'm sorry if I've been talking to you. <laughs> um, All right, guys. Oh, well, thanks for tuning in to our podcast. Ain't in Heath Unfiltered. Yeah. Our coffee is coming to a close open. Ooh. We're about to launch. Beats. It's it's looking good. The logo's looking we gotta, hot. We got to show you the Ooh, final. Yeah. The coffee it's popping hot. It's tasting Ooh. really fresh. Guys, I'm so excited it's because so- it's in a place where like it's pretty much finalized. Now it's just like yeah. getting into actually bagging, making, supplying, doing all the distribution stuff, which is yeah. which is the cool part. We're super excited uh, that you guys are still listening to us and <laughs> <laughs> listening to our dumbasses again um, yeah thank you so much for tuning in and leave a nice review on the podcast app mm-hmm. make sure to listen to us on spotify on the podcast app on google android whatever the fuck those apps are on and make sure to check us out on our video which is posted on our youtube channel at youtube.com slash zane and he mm-hmm. you could listen while you're driving walking to class you're at the gym on mm-hmm. the treadmill doing your thing mm-hmm. um Oh. Baby, you can find time to make us uh, fit into your day. And, and bitch, we just hit 300,000 subscribers Ooh. on our YouTube channel. What's up? Guys, I'm so excited that so many people are watching the YouTube videos. It's crazy. You guys are, a lot of you are tuning in, like, just, gotta Matt, have, what? Wrap, what? Y'all gotta wrap it up. I don't fucking, One bitch, we're talking. We, bitch, we are talking. We go another three hours. We are hours. talking to our coffee beans. Give us a fucking minute. Camera's gonna shut off. So. It's crazy. Oh, I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like talk to you and talk to you guys. And Matt is just sitting there like this. The juice. I, the, the, fun. the funny. <laughs> the juice. The funny. I'm I just, just trying to keep y'all on track. We're on track, motherfucker. Oh, he's doing it again. You want to get hit, motherfucker? You want to get hit? And we go, we go, are so, out. We go swell that <laughs> other yeah, side up. They're out. All right. 
Bye, y'all. <laughs> All right, we love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye, have a, have bye, a good Monday. bye. We love, love y'all. y'all. Peace out. Peace, peace and blessing. Peace out. Rise and shine. <laughs> <laughs>